have you ever had that type of month that you just want to throw your hands up and say, Thank you, Jesus! You've been so good! For those of you that aren't Christian, don't think this is going to be a whole Holy Ghost session. Don't get turned off. But for those of you that are Christian, you know what I'm talking about. When he just shows up and shows out, just makes you want to... Tap your hands, stomp your feet, and just make you feel like you have a purpose. That has been my entire month, so I actually want to give a major shout out to the man upstairs for giving me the grounding this month and for also sending some amazing products for your girl to be able to test out. So, you know how your girl rolls. Grab your smoothie, grab your bottle of water, infused water, hot tea. For you heathens out there, go ahead and grab that red wine and let's get right into my July favorites. Let's start with foundation shall we MAC. MAC has actually come out with this Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, the standard way that I normally apply products, this product right here has been absolutely amazing. The shape that I've been wearing is NC45. The young lady at MAC um, matched me up perfectly with this. I've been doing a lot of jogging outside. You guys have heard me mention a lot. And um, my color range has been going from light to dark, light to dark, red, light to dark. The main undertone that I have is a yellow undertone. This foundation is phenomenal. You can actually see I'm wearing it. I did bring it all the way down to the front of my neck. Absolutely phenomenal. Next, let's move into setting powder, shall we? I have fallen in love with this Airspun Loose Face Powder. And the shade that I actually have is Honey Beige. Now, to me, this is a translucent powder. I found this product at Walmart, and look at this big tub of product. And for my girls that actually have richer complexions, don't worry. Translucent powders is one of those that you're only using after you have set your full makeup look. So you're not trying to alter it. You're not trying to brighten it. It's just there as a setting purpose. This is phenomenal. I'm not getting any flashback. I get the long wearing ability. It does have a little bit of a of a fragrance be careful so it doesn't break your skin out i did see a tiny 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 little hives and i think it came from the fragrance but after my skin got used to wearing it it gives an amazing setting ability air spun by cody you can find it in your walmart and i don't think this big tub cost me any more than eight to nine dollars phenomenal talk about this highlight i got my hand i was one of the lucky ones to get my hands on this becca champagne pop Highlight by Jaclyn Hill, the collaboration with Jaclyn Hill and Becca. Ah, can you hear the angels singing? Phenomenal. This is not only a highlight, but they actually call it a shimmering skin perfecter in a press form. And literally, this is not like, let's talk about it. This is not like a highlighter, so to speak. This sometimes it comes off chunky, it comes off glittery. You guys know that I'm a fan of the MAC Gold Deposit, and I have it right here as well. The wear of these two products is totally different. So this is your MAC, okay? It does give an amazing oomph to the skin, but this powder um, by Jaclyn Hill and Becca, the payoff in it is so ridiculous, and you can buff it down. Even after you've buffed it down, it still gives an amazing reflection. Can you see what's going on? Can you see that? It gives all the uh, most amazing illuminizing effects. So this product is ridiculous. Like it is my new holy grail highlight. It just gives me more of a yes ability, yes. And it goes along the highlight areas. I do use it right here a little bit on underneath the eyebrow. You know, Cupid's both typical places that you want to highlight. It is one of those products that you can go a little bit overboard with because it is so luxurious. But if you can get your hands on that champagne pop, it is worth every bit of the $30. And for those of you that can't get your hands on that one, I'm going to suggest the Opal or even possibly the Moonstone. Those two are phenomenal as well. They do carry them in the full line of shades at Ulta as well as Sephora. I've actually seen them so you're definitely going to want to try to get your hands on that Becca highlight. They know what they're doing when you want to glow, honey. Let's keep it moving, shall we? I actually have another new product that's actually been introduced into my case and not that I needed another eyeshadow palette, but Anastasia introduced her World Traveler palette. This is what the shades look like. 
I was not able to get my hands on the Amrezy palette and a lot of the colors in here do kind of mimic that. They have these nice warm tones that I'm starting to love all over again and I do have a pop of the cool tones and a lot of shimmers. The payoff in this palette is absolutely amazing and I think the price point is $28 and you're getting so many different eyeshadow looks that you can kind of create. You have four here which is going to be your neutrals, you have your cools and then you have your smoky eye palette or you can kind of cross these you can go across the board. I really think this is a great palette for any skin tone, any eye shape, because you will be able to do so many different looks. This is a look I actually created today, and I actually used the Soft Peach, Morocco Fudge, Heirloom, Intense Glaze, Pink Champagne, and Noir. I used all of these colors to create this look right here, and it's just great to be able to pick up one little palette with a great little mirror and a brush. It's great to pull all that at one time for $28. Absolutely phenomenal. I've been so impressed with this palette. So, so, so impressed with this palette. Glad that I actually added it to my collection. Moving right along to some of my new favorite eyeshadow brushes. I have to talk about these two brushes right here. I actually purchased these at my Michaels Craft Store. Those of you that have a Michaels, they have a whole selection of painter brushes. And these are, this one is actually by Artist Loft. And this one is by Zen Royal and Ling Nickel. I want to say that this brush here, I've actually purchased some other brushes at some makeup trade shows by this brand. And this one is more of a flat angle, not a flat angle brush, but more of a flat synthetic brush. And you can kind of see how it's moving right here. But it's really, really amazing to really get right tight underneath the eyelash line. And as I want to kind of blend that highlight down, I just kind of stroke into there so I can actually blend it out. This brush, I'm going to have to leave the price on the blog that's actually going to go along with this video. So make sure you go to makeupbykiani.blogspot to get a full uh length of products that I'm starting to use and um, this brush here by Artist Loft this is called a scrumbler brush it really does remind you of like a tight eraser brush but I like that it's a little bit flatter it does have a little bit more bend to it it's a lot less dense it's a lot less tight so it really does diffuse color as you want to kind of whip right into that tight tight um, external V or if you really want to pop it into the internal V, this brush is absolutely amazing. I don't think that either one of these brushes were over $10 and they're actually very, very easy to get. So if you're going into a craft store, look for brushes that are going to be more so more used for acrylic, so to speak. Both of these brushes were actually designed for acrylic, so they're going to basically, in makeup world, they will work on dry as well as wet products absolutely phenomenal also i talked about this brush in my last haul when i was in Rota beach this is one of those brushes that was made by lab 2 and it stands for just blending in brush and it's one of those super super what i would call fluffy brushes but it still has a little bit more texture and taperedness to it this is when i, when I want to really really blow out these smoky eyes that i've been creating and i really just need to kind of push that color all the way together this brush right here wasn't any more than three dollars absolutely phenomenal it has really become one of my holy grail brushes just to kind of blend out and keep that lines of demarcation away from my smoky eyes those of you that follow me on instagram at love underscore kiani know that i actually posted a photo of my newest vegas nay lashes which is what i'm wearing right here these are the grand glamour lashes you can actually find them also in ulta for 5.99 and get 50 percent off but i actually purchased mine from target and i want to say they were 5.99 and let me tell you girls these are hands down probably the best lashes i have ever worn they really really knew what they were doing when they created the curve of the lash they really are thick enough they're dense enough but at the same time i don't feel like i have lashes on and secondly they wear well this is probably my 20th time wearing them and they look just as fierce now as they did the first day that i wore them absolutely phenomenal there are several other different styles of lashes that she came out with with i think the brand is called elaid and um and you know what if i'm mispronouncing it whatever but there are several other different types of lashes that she came out with with this brand but the grand glamour has been hands down the only lash i've worn i take it back i did try to go back to wearing my um, salon perfect demi wispies 
girl my eyes just look like they were puffy so we just let those go um but these are super super sick i haven't really gotten into like the silk or the mink lashes or any of those things but these are very very easy to obtain you can actually go into your ultra and like i said you can go into your target store purchase these lashes and just have the most amazing effect on your lashes so just remember your girl warned you these lashes are super duper addicting so if you start getting used to them it ain't my fault i'm just sharing with you since we're talking about lashes i have definitely fallen in love with my little black Primer. This is by Estee Lauder. It is a primer with an amazing brush and it really allows me to get those bottom lashes the way that I want them to really really lengthen out my bottom lashes and then I can go right back on top with a mascara. This, this product gives you hydration. It also gives you more of a transfer resistant capability to your mascara if you apply it on top of your mascara not necessarily waterproof but it will prolong wear your lashes and your uh, mascara so this has been one of my new favorite products that i've included into my makeup routine i absolutely love this estee lauder little black primer yes and we have to talk about let's talk about lips now shall we we have to talk about the nyx intense butter glosses I was thinking that I had gotten my hands on something brand new. I started talking to my sister and she was like, oh girl, I've been had those. Well, what does that mean? She's been saving secrets and that probably means you guys have been saving secrets as well. So I'm definitely wanting you guys to thumbs up this video and make sure that you comment down below. If you have new products that you've been trying that you don't hear that I have talked about and you probably think that I need it in my makeup routine, make sure you comment down below. But the four colors that I actually got my hands on was this one is called Trislish. Trislish. Anyway, I'm wearing it right now, and this is a shade for those of you that have not gotten. It's a really, really pretty pinky taupe, and you guys know how I love my nudes. I love that they've kind of done kind of a doe foot applicator, which is really, really flat, but at the same time, it does distribute a lot of color. And a lot, it distributes a lot of color, and it really allows the product to get packed onto the lips. So I've been in love with this shade. And I, of course, bought another nude. This one is called Chocolate Crepe. It's a little bit more intense, but at the same time, the shade goes into more of a mauve brown. It does kind of look like a, mm, can't really call it chocolate chip, but it is more of a mauve brown, so to speak. The next shade that I purchased was the Toasted Marshmallow. Now, in store, I really thought that these two were really, really close together. This is truly more of a plum mauve. Can you see that? These two are very, very close together, but they're still in that nude family. Absolutely in love. And of course, any girl that loves pink the way that I do, I could not resist buying the shade called Funnel Delight. This one reminds me of Candy Yum Yum, but in a gloss form. And those of you that remember how crazy I was over that shade last summer, can you see that? Absolutely phenomenal. The intensity of the colors are very, very rich. I wouldn't definitely say that these colors are going to last a long time, but if you're wearing more of a lip liner or wearing like a nude lip and you need just a little extra pop, these are a great addition to wearing that lipstick and getting a little bit more longevity out of just doing a gloss solo. And there you have my July favorites. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to follow me on Instagram at love underscore Kiani to receive daily beauty tips. You can also go to makeupbykiani.com to actually see everything that in house with Makeup by Kiani and her crazy makeup world. And lastly, if you have not subscribed to my channel, click the link in the down bar. It's free. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hugs and kisses. Talk to you soon. Bye.